Meteorologist Tom Atkins. Start you out with the stately Flatiron building on our quick fill cam, uh, downtown Warren. The beautiful clocks and the foliage in the mountains and hills there. Uh, let's get over to Presque Isle via the Land Lighthouse camera. Uh, looking across the foliage, the birds, the Perry Monument, and Presque Isle there. Nice color there. How about nice color here? I, I don't even know where she shot it. I, I'm thinking Mill Creek, maybe, uh, or McCain. Cheryl Kabazinski with one of her patented shots. Uh, ducks on the pond, geese on the pond, and lots of beautiful color reflected in the water there. Okay, radar, it's clear. No colors here. You got to go back to the north and west. Uh, there may be a sprinkle overnight here, but we're not worried about that. It's this little spinny storm here that's going to inject the moisture that's going to provide the rain tomorrow night into Friday and Saturday. But things look like they may get a little bit better uh, Sunday afternoon. For now, we're making it up into the upper 50s and low 60s, and we got one more day of it here. Now this one's gonna turn out to be wet. This one may be late in the day, and then we dip, and then we go back up again. So, uh, you know, the trend continues. Here's weather in your health. Uh, ragweed pollen's low, mold spores moderate, UV index low, and air quality continuing to be good. So on the lake tomorrow, just a chance of afternoon showers, waves one to three, but a stiff southwest breeze, water temperature back up a degree to 60, but really not that bad. And nice to see near normal high and low temperature, officially at ERI 61 and uh, 49, averages are 62 and 46. So close to normal on the rainfall and above normal since January 1st, so Erie's sitting pretty here. Unfortunately, we go under 11 hours of daylight today, but it is breezy, it's mild tomorrow with those late day showers, obviously wet and cooler Friday into the weekend. So numbers for you here, uh, 58 Dawn in South Harbor Creek, 53 Lore in Edinburgh, Jim in Dewittville at 54 down south, North Meadville, Joyce at 57, 55 in Espyville from Roseanne, and out east, 52 Chandler's Valley, 51 Chatty Cathy in Youngsville. So here we go. We've got a front headed towards us, but a little surge of milder air before the cooler stuff wraps in behind it. So we've got that day tomorrow where we could tap at least the mid-60s in the area. And as we give you the maps in motion, it's really not that bad. It's a beautiful night tonight. you got a strong southerly breeze tomorrow. But again, this model's saying it's probably not till late afternoon or evening before the rains come in. And, and then they come in off and on Friday and on into Saturday. So our forecast for the lakeshore tonight, partly to mostly cloudy and mild. 47 to 51. If you're south of 90 inland, Cory, Cambridge, Union City, plenty of clouds, but dry, 41 to 45. And if you're in the mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean counties, partly to mostly cloudy, decent, 39 to 44. So tomorrow's not a bad day. Showers hold off until later, uh, 63 to 67. And then Showers breezy and mild before tomorrow night. We're still up around 60 with the rain off and on on Friday. Showers Saturday, tapering Sunday. And then we start a nice stretch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And as I said, I think you could include Thursday there as well. As far as sunshine, warming trend, dry weather coming back in for more than a couple days next week. And of course, you can check out that seven day as well as our interactive radar on the Your Eerie to Go app. Always nice to see the sunshine. Very nice at this time of year. <laughs>